Welcome back you guys. Today we're going to talk about the forced variation of the Kimura that I promised you guys last month uh, in our Gracie Insider Technique of the Month. Today, however, we are in the Junior Grapplers class with the 8 to 12 year old students. Very focused group behind me. They're going to check it out as we teach the technique and, uh, you know, make sure it's all good. So check it out. Here's what we got from the guard. Stage one, close control. Now, last month we talked about if the person goes to sit up, we ride them up, elbow and foot go down, and then we scoot the hip out to lock up the arm. That was last month. Today we talked about what to do if the person is in your guard and they're intent on staying low and staying close to you. So from here, you can't rely on them picking you up. So if they don't pick you up from the closed guard, from the closed position, we're going to do the forced variation. I'm going to demonstrate it one time, then we'll break it down. From here, this hand, boom. Okay, come a little closer so you can see this right here. Check it out. Could you turn around a little bit? Sure. So, from stage one, control. Check it out. This hand shoves the head under my arm. Okay, I can also use my legs to pull them forward while I do this. So I'm using my legs to bring them in. Once I pull them forward and I shove the head under, I trap it with my elbow and my tricep here, keeping his head stuck. Now, that foot goes on the ground, the back leg, and I scoop my hips that way. One, keeping his head trapped in my elbow. Now look, I open the elbow here and I roll forward getting up on my elbow. This hand now shoots in the armpit. Notice how I shoot this before I grab this. Important detail, because if you grab the wrist first and they pull their hand free, it's going to be hard to trap the arm. But if you shoot here first and then you start to isolate the wrist and lock up the double wrist grab, you're much more likely to get that full control you're looking for. Once you lock it up, as we discussed last month, if you have a very heavy opponent who's difficult to pull down, the secret is pushing off both feet, elevating your hips and driving the shoulders back. So you're using your whole body rather than just your upper body strength. Now look, trap the leg, scoot your hips out, shoulder, hip, shoulder, and then leg over the back, cross. Now the key here is keeping his arm bent 90 degrees. Don't let him straighten it out. Keep it low, glued to the hip, and then twist it up north. Okay? One more time, check a different angle. So, stage one, last one. Hand shoves the head down. This hand, when I feel comfortable, pushes it down, my elbow comes over. Quick elbow pinch. And right now, I'm, my legs aren't very low, because if they were, he'd be able to sit back and get out. When I do this, I'm keeping a high guard, and I'm keeping my legs tight, squeezing his body forward, making it difficult for him to pull his head out. From here, the back foot goes down, the hips go out that way. Which way? Towards the side of his head. Now, watch the elbow get up. If you try to sit up this way, it's very awkward. But if this elbow opens, and then you sit up that way, it's much easier to get in your elbow. As soon as you sit up, start to shoot the armpit here, and then find the wrist. With the thumb, locking it up. From here, once again, push off both feet, hips up, drive back. Once you lay down, keep the arm low by your hip, trap the leg. Now, there is another way, there's an optional way to scoot your hips up. Instead of trapping the leg, if they're up on their knees like this, you can also put your leg on their back, and use their hip as your pivot point so that you have greater control while you scoop. That method doesn't work if they're laying flat. It only works if they're on their knees sitting up. Once I have my angle and my legs are locked, keep it bent, and most common mistake is trying to squeeze the arm lock or the shoulder lock this way. The direction is this way, like a windshield wiper, straight over to the front. Very damaging to the shoulder, forced variation. Very useful when you're fighting a larger opponent who's intent on just kind of smashing you with their weight. They're just laying very heavy in your chest. Maybe they're exhausted. So you create the opportunity by stuffing the head under, hip out, and then sitting up, isolating that arm. So either they pick you up and you catch them with the rider, or they chill and you catch them with the forced variation. Extremely important that when you are applying the arm lock, the person who's being caught, tap at any moment. And the good guy who's doing the move, of course, very slow, watching out for your partner's shoulder. This is probably pr the, the most or one of the most uncomfortable moves to get caught in during practice. So squeeze extremely slowly as the person doing the technique so that it's impossible for any accidents to occur.
Thanks for joining us in this Junior Grappler Gracie Jiu-Jitsu lesson here at the Gracie Academy, and uh, we hope to see you next month. Thanks a lot.